Well, um, I have a Master in Business Administration from Leicester, UK. And I also did a Master in Public Policy from London School and Econo Economics and Political Science, London. Uh, I studied fashion at uh, ESMOD, uh, which is a French fashion school. It's the oldest and the first fashion school in the world. It was established around um, 1841, and uh, it has so many branches. Um, however, I also ha uh, have uh, like a couple of other certificates, uh, one of them in uh, um, managing uh, luxury and fashion companies from uh, the University of Bocconi in Milan. And whenever I have like a chance to like have any uh, take any courses or like workshops uh, in relation to fashion, doesn't have to be directly in fashion, but but in relation to fashion because you know this uh, this field has uh, so many um, it, it requires the knowledge in so many areas such as business production and so on. And um, soon I'll be taking a course uh, in, in Ruffles about production, which I'm really excited about. Actually, I loved art since I was young. Um, I inherited my art genes from my, from my parents. They, they are both artists. So um, I also, like at a personal level, I love fashion um, as a female. And uh, I, I'm also passionate about entrepreneurship. So um, I found that uh, fashion has the perfect recipe um, to like marry uh, art to commerce. And um, therefore, uh, I thought fashion is a good career, um, like good uh, career for me, because uh, it has all the elements that I love in one cake. So I think fashion is a great choice. Actually, my designs are for ladies who are looking for elegance uh, in what they wear. So um, it's not really an age group. It could like uh, be any adult woman who are looking for for elegance and their clothing. Uh, I usually design in a contemporary way, but elegance is my main, uh, main uh, concept in my design. So it could be like ladies from the age of 20 to the age of 50 or even above if they like, like elegance too. Uh, I have a wonderful education. Um, I could say I have 10 years art education and uh, plus teacher education. Um, I attended uh, art college in Latvia and I studied knitwear design. And after I studied fashion design, um, which, is, which is about more fashion design collection development. And I studied six years. So I have master degree in fashion design. And I have studied also teaching because I choose uh, uh, my path as a teacher and I have studied te uh, teaching in Latvia and in United Kingdom. I have done a lot of training because uh, learning is my hobby and um, I have explored different art and craft techniques and my work has been published uh, in um, famous magazines in Latvia and it is really uh, nice to admit that um, I have not only a fashion design education, but also I educated myself in art and craft. Um, so I'm multi-sided, I could say, and that is my hobby. Uh, actually, I chose uh, to be fashion designer by random because my uh, the best friend uh, went into art college first and I just followed in her footsteps. And the strangest thing is that she dropped out, but I continued till I received master degree in fashion design. Probably for destiny. Today we are going to make jacket. And first of all, we will start with creating basic bodice block. So let's take our uh, Telestia ruler. And first of all, we will draw neckline uh, please put your ruler on size 42 so and draw curved line next we are going to take our stripe ruler and draw center front line
then please measure extension two centimeters draw a line it is our fault line Let's add one centimeter to side seams. And please check in your books, page 29. And let's check front measurements, if we have them correctly. will help to correctly place our patterns on the fabric. So um, basically I design everything going from like mainly the dresses but also skirts, pants and um, even t-shirts. Um, uh, the thing is um, uh, as a designer you have to be like comprehensive and be able to, to do all of this. I also started a, a shoe line, which is um, coming soon. Uh, and in the future, I would like to design like uh, for furniture and uh, home goods. So. Um, before talking about style, people usually like um, get confused between fashion and style. It's really good to to differentiate. As Mr. Yves Saint Laurent said. Um, uh, fashion fades but elegance is eternal so to highlight on that fashion is what is outside uh, what is like uh, your external but uh, style is what is inside um, your your identity the way you like to express yourself so this is the main difference uh, I think that fashion is a tool to express style um, if we talk about my style, I believe that it's elegance. Um, it's the main recipe or main ingredient of, uh, of my designs. Even if it's like contemporary or bold, you see that it's, it has the element of elegance. Usually artists and designers are inspired by, um, by many sources of inspiration. Some of them are intrinsic. Uh, it comes from their inner feelings or like their previous experiences. And some of them are extrinsic, like uh, the environment they live in, um, the, like if they travel, they get exposed. So um, usually these, uh, these inspiration shapes the themes. So if we want to talk about myself, uh, I'm highly inspired by cultures, different cultures and nations, um, traditions. Um, Travel really aff affects my, my, my taste and because you know you get exposed to, to new scenes every, every time you travel. I also love uh, visiting museums for, and art galleries for, uh, for, uh, as a source of inspiration. Uh, when I lived in London, I lived there for one year, I used to visit uh, museums on a, on a weekly basis. Um, actually, mainly Victoria and Albert uh, Museum and National Gallery. And that helped me to uh, come up with, uh, with my, my latest collection, which is called Tea Time at Aram. It's inspired by the um, uh, traditional English uh, tea parties uh, and uh, with a hint of 60s and 50s style. So, uh, so it, th themes, like, themes comes with the inspiration. It, it differs from time to time, from like, uh, different emotions and so on. So it depends.
like working with all type of uh, people and all age group, but uh, I usually focus on that age group which I am myself because I think I more understand that age group and I like to deliver a message about my feelings about that age. So I think the main uh, age group at the moment is women around 30, 40. She's busy, she's creative, um, she likes to be original but not over, over embellished or overdressed. It is not main aim of, in her life. Main aim is just to live, enjoy life and um, enjoy um, dressing up. Uh, when I studied, uh, in our program we were asked to experiment a lot. Uh, we created different type of uh, collections, different, uh, we, we had to find different inspirational sources. So I tried all kind of possible styles. But at the moment I'm more focused on uh, ready-to-wear garments because that is practical. I can sell them and I, I like to see people wearing my clothes. Um, at the moment uh, I like to explore how we could more recycle uh, garments because all world is already full with um, so many clothes and people have more than they really need. So how we could recycle and create something new, uh, not uh, using planet resources. So I have responsible thinking in that meaning. So I would like to do really artistic uh, collections from recycled materials, or actually I have done already. My last collection, I used um, leftovers, uh, which I bought in factory. And um, I, I think the result was really, really good. In Raffle Design Institute, we use software for pattern making, which is uh, new and advanced technology invented in Greece and approved by a London Textile Institute. It is a very precise pattern making system. And today we are creating jacket. The system is really helpful for our students. It makes them more independent because they have they can study on their own in the most appropriate time. They can revise at home and repeat as many times as necessary. It is really easy to follow and young generation really prefers this method instead of complicated formulas. Um, the materials and fabric you use should be like related to the theme and spirit of the collection. Um, for example, I mentioned my collection Tea Time. Um, it's so feminine, so dreamy. So when I did this collection, I, I tried to choose fabrics that could fit there, such as tulle, um, uh, organzas, um, lace, which are really feminine, even colors, like they are connected to the theme. So I chose uh, very like uh, powdery colors such as baby blue, uh, lilac, uh, uh, pink. So fabrics and colors are highly related to the theme of the, of the collection. We're trying, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to tell a story. It has to be from like all sides. So it, it includes the type of fabric you use, the, the, the colors, and even for the show, it has to, like, you combine the music you use and um, the way you arrange things. So I think um, it's all interconnected. Uh, creating a new collection is, uh, is a long process. Sometimes it takes from six to eight months. 
usually uh, famous designers start like eight months ahead before the season uh, to have like a vision about what they're gonna do. Uh, of course, it, so it starts by like having a source of inspiration and then a theme, which is which is uh, the first step and maybe the hardest. Uh, afterward, um, you have to come up with uh, with collect pictures and create something called mood board. A mood board is like uh, a big board that has so many pictures of things that inspired inspired you under this theme, and. Um, Taking shapes and colors from this uh, mood board, it's going to help you to shape the silhouettes, uh, choose the color uh, range. Uh, third step is having a color board, which is going to be the main colors that you're going to use in your collection. Afterward, you start doing your sketching or what's called kooky, which is like rough sketching of the designs you want to do. Um, sometimes you have to, to sketch like up to 150 designs to come up at the end with 40 or 30 designs because you do you keep on sketching and sketching and then choosing the best 40 and then afterward even eliminating uh, 10 so you have the best 30. Um, you go like afterward you go for the uh, fabric uh, selection you choose the fa your fabrics. Next step is uh, doing prototypes. Prototype is like the first sample of the garment uh, you you design. Um, each uh, prototype um, goes afterward like in a correction uh, mode. Uh, if, if it doesn't fit properly, then you go ahead and correct it. Afterward, you go to production. This is to, to reach the point of doing a collection. But afterward, there's like a long, other long process, which is um, manufacturing, uh, fashion shows, uh, editorial, like to take uh, to be able to show your work in media or in like and uh, social media, and magazines and, and TV or whatever, and the fashion show, with, which is uh, which is um, like the, the time where you interconnect with people, like when they see the garments on the runway. Okay, so um, I come from Saudi Arabia, which is a vast country has different regions. Uh, each region has its own uh, culture, uh, cuisines, music, uh, um, even like um, outfits, accessories. So it's really inspiring. Um, that's, that variety is really inspiring. Uh, and it, it affects the way I think about design because there's like a lot of things to, to, to think about. Um, something else, I come from the, the young generation which are uh, like interacting with the global uh, market uh, as a result of uh, revolution in communication. Um, so for the young generation, what they see today in Sydney's uh, roads, you can see it on Saudi Fashion Festa tomorrow. They're like, they just grab it and, uh, so they're really, um, really uh, exposed to the global uh, global um, uh, uh, exposure. So this highly affects me because I'm also part of this generation. Something else, I come from a family that empowers and embraces uh, women and um, they were really encouraging me um, and this, uh, we could say it's a new, a new, um, um, new uh, career in this country. And um, they highly, uh, you know, pushed me to do what I like. So all of these elements shapes the way I, you know, I design, um, reflecting in a contemporary wearable uh, clothes that is not only wear wear by women here in this country, but internationally. I have customers from all over the world: the U.S., Russia, um, you know, uh, Europe, and everywhere, even Japan. So all of these elements affects the way I think and I design.
during my studies uh, to develop my own style and create new ideas. I think it is the hardest in art to find something what hasn't been found, but I think that is the highest value when you can show the world something completely new and that is valued the highest in the fashion des uh, design industry. I usually start with uh, sketching and I use music in the background and um, then I select the best sketches of what I have created and move on uh, to create color sketches from black and white sketches. So after color sketches I might create fashion illustration which I can show uh, in exhibitions and from colorful sketches I design collection. That is the process which is uh, quite complicated but very enjoyable if you like your profession. I think def uh, definitely my education influences my uh, um, creativity but uh, about culture, maybe colors, um, but I'm not typical designer for for Latvia, I like very bright colors. I have tried to work with black and white, but I didn't feel satisfied. I really like uh, very bright colors and mixing of colors. I'm more painter in fashion design than um, commercial designer. There's always enormous competition uh, in fashion industry between fashion designers and that is very, very competitive, uh, competitive and very demanding industry. So I always suggest students to work very hard during studies and learn as much as possible from their teachers because after graduating they will face a really competitive environment which will ask from them to be strong, to be fast and to, uh, to be very talented. Actually, the, the most enjoyable and hardest is finding the inspiration. Um, some designers, uh, such as uh, you know, like internationals, such as uh, Square, or they all, they always mention that this is the hardest part. If you if you reach if you're done with this part, everything comes uh, naturally. Especially when you're like doing your third or fourth collection. The most enjoyable part is watching your fashion show. Like everything is together, like your work for six or eight months is in 20 minutes, but it's like you feel butterflies. <laughs> You're happy because uh, this is the result of your work. So I believe, yeah, that's the most enjoyable part.